Hello! All right, so I um, was putting together the uh, the call, the session that I have with the girls in my program, The Confident Athlete, and we are going to be talking about self-talk and affirmations, and I was just like going down the rabbit hole with YouTube videos, you know how that goes, and I found this really awesome YouTube video with these NFL players who were using self-talk during their warm-ups and their games but they were they were doing it out loud and like it was so cool because we were you were getting to see these these big time nfl players like i'm talking very successful athletes out there using self-talk but the cool thing was they weren't just writing it down okay they were actually saying it out loud. They were embracing it. They were they were like living it, saying it out loud, living it. Like they kind of looked like crazy people. They were like talking to themselves and warm ups and during the game and stuff. But you guys, this stuff works. This is the piece of your game that is going to that is going to take you beyond and it's going to make you better than your competition okay it's going to 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 give you that that competitive edge and i just want to share with some of the things that they were they were saying to themselves some of the things that really stuck out to me i kind of made some notes too because there's just like some really good phrases and some really good things so some of them was just like i'm a, i'm a playmaker like i'm a playmaker and a lot of these were like, this is me, this is who I am. Um, not like, oh, I, I want to be a playmaker or, um, you know, it, it was like they were, they were making themselves successful through their self-talk. They were creating confidence through their self-talk. Um, some other ones, I was made for this. I was made for this and they're like they're giving themselves like little pep talks like uh, like think about a coach giving you like all the love and positivity and stuff before a game now do that for yourself okay some of the other ones who do you want to be who do you want to be how do you want to be remembered he was talking to himself talking to himself that was by uh, Randall Cobb um, I'm a game changer today I'm a game changer. He kept saying it over and over. I'm a game changer. I'm a game changer. I'm a game changer. I'm number one. That's who I want to be. That's who I am. That one's Patrick Peterson. Shout out to the Cardinals. Um, I know I'm the greatest. I know I'm the greatest. Be great. One play at a time, which I love because we got to focus at one thing at a time. When we focus on too many things, it gets all crazy. Okay, right? <laughs> Um, whatever happens happens. This is one of my favorites right now because I am like all about Giving it everything that you have doing the self-talk putting in your mental work putting in your physical work and letting the results fall into place Like knowing who you are showing up as that person who you want to be and then letting it letting the rest letting the results fall where they may and let me tell you guys when you do that and you let go of the results you are going to be successful okay so whatever happens happens uh, your self-talk just like these these nfl players it has to be a part of your game okay it has to be a part of your game it has to be a part of your warm-ups it has to be a part of your routine it has to be part of you right like that self-talk has to show up in your body language it has to show up in how in 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 yourself in your in your excitement in your it just has to show up in you okay um you have to walk the walk and talk the talk i thought that was perfect for today and you know i know a lot of girls um and you guys might even I, i'll share the the youtube link for this video because i think it's so great um and I know a lot of girls would think, well, that's kind of conceited or like overly confident. And the truth is, you guys, it's not conceited. It's not being conceited at all. All right. It's not being conceited at all. It's giving yourself a pep talk. It's telling yourself and reminding yourself of who you are, who you want to be. And we better start believing that. Right, we better start believing those things that we that we tell ourselves because we practice this all the time in my program. We write down our affirmations. We're practicing our self talk, but it's time to live it up. It's time to live that self talk, walk the walk. Okay. Um, and and I wanted to share too in this video. They also show like the negative self talk 
And it's really funny. It's really interesting because when they mess up or they're coming off the sideline and they're frustrated, they didn't perform that they wanted to. And they're saying things like, um, they're saying things like, what am I doing? I've got to finish or I've got to, I got to break that tackle or I got to make that count. And it was really interesting. And I, and I paid close attention to this negative self-talk that they were having, but it really didn't sound too bad. It was actually like they were coaching themselves. They're like, dude, like I got to make that tackle. I got to finish. I can do that. And it was like them, like and their passion and their uh, their competitiveness, but they were like coaching themselves. They're telling themselves, "I gotta, I gotta make that tackle. I've gotta finish." Those are like those are positive, actionable items that they can do. Not, oh my gosh, you suck. Like you, you shouldn't be out here. I can't believe this. They're not like sitting and pouting. They're just kind of giving them a little pep talk and giving themselves a pep talk and and giving themselves actionable things, even though they're feeling a little frustrated and feeling frustrated is okay and it's normal, okay? Uh, so then, and, and because they know and they're amazing athletes that the, the next play is the best play, all right? The next play is the best play, or, oh my gosh, I just messed that. The best, <laughs> the most important, the next play is the most important play, next, play is the most important play. That's a tongue twister. We have to start telling you guys, girls, parents, parents that are, are showing this to your girls or that you're showing up for your daughters. We have to start telling ourselves what we want to believe. Okay. There's a big difference in telling ourselves, oh, like maybe I could do that. Or Maybe I, I can play division one college softball. Start telling yourselves what you want to believe, what you want to happen, how you want to play. Because the more that you tell yourself those things, the more you write those things down, the more that you practice that self-talk and you walk the walk and talk the talk, the more you're going to believe it. Because what we think and what we say is what we believe. So what are you going to tell yourself? And I would l love to hear some things that you guys are going to start telling yourself, especially, you know, we're going to go play soon. The COVID is going to, we're going to get back into the world. And um, I want to know what you guys are telling, you want to tell yourself when you get to step on that field again and perform and compete or court, wherever you're competing. I just got softball brain. You guys know that. Um, one last thing, if you guys want to, um, uh, continue working on your mental game. This self-talk piece, you know, my program just started, but if it is something that you want to get into, I might be able to catch you up to speed. We'll see. And then it will also start again, but I also have a free visualization practice package, which is some, another way that you can practice your mental game and gain that competitive edge. So you guys are amazing. I can't wait to hear all of the self-talk that all the things that you're going to start telling yourself, especially when you get to go out and play again. I will talk to you soon and keep on keeping on.